Brooke Chavez here with Star Watch Media, and we're at the premiere of the film For the Love of Money at the Writers Guild of America Theater right here in Beverly Hills. Well, we are here with the most beautiful woman on the red carpet. And the first woman I've interviewed tonight, actually, which I'm really excited. I've noticed that there seems to be quite a lot of men here tonight, and I'm okay with that. Now all the males can like, click on this ex this interview explicitly <laughs> only. Oh, I want to watch that one. That's right. I'll bring the female power to it. Yes. <laughs> well, tell us more about your role in this film. Well, I, I, I'm just so lucky to be able to play James Caan's wife. He's, he's, he's really been such an idol for me to watch. He has so many mad skills. I mean, what he was bringing to the table when we were working was so fun. He w there was really kind of nothing written between our characters, but he would say in between takes, he's like, hey, Leilani, why don't we try this? Or why don't we, you know, let's, let's do this. What if I do this? What, what would you do if I did that? Which is really fun as an actor, because when you have somebody who wants to play, it's like, I want to play back. And uh, it's, it was awesome. It was great. Very nice. Is there anything that you want our viewers to take from this film? I mean, obviously, it's this crazy inspirational story about the American dream, but what did you get from it? It is, and I got to tell you, I have not seen the film. It's funny. A lot of so, a lot of the actors who have come down haven't seen it. Haven't seen it yet. That's so that's going to be pretty awesome for you to check it out for the first time. Yeah, they haven't screened it for I think a lot of us. So we're all going to be watching it for the first time, and uh, I'm really excited because I love biopics. It's kind of fun to see something like, really? Did he really do that? Did that really happen in his life? That's fantastic. And he survived from that. He, he pulled above that. He really did. And talk about the American dream. I mean, this guy came from nothing. And I love that. And it is the American dream. And I, I, I feel like I'm still getting to that point where I get to live the American dream, too. I haven't yet, but it's, that's the exciting part of it, is that there's always the potential that it's going to happen for you. And, and when it does, it's usually you know, well rewarded. I think we're all working towards that. <laughs> so everyone can identify or relate. Did you meet the um, actual woman that you played? I were you able to meet? No, she wasn't on the set. And she wasn't anywhere to be seen. I would have liked to have met her. Because I, I really like to do that. I've played a couple of real people and, and stuff and, and had the... Uh, actually, I've never met anybody who I've been playing. So, you know, it's just up to me to just come up with, uh, okay, what do I think she's going to be like? I think she's going to be badass. That's usually where I go. Conjure your own brilliance inside. <laughs> That's right. I'm going to go with um, badass sexy gal. It is a trophy wife. Whatever. It's fun, though. I mean, James Codd trophy wife, I'm all about that. <laughs> I'll play a trophy wife anytime. <laughs> I don't see anything wrong with that, sister. You should be flattered that you'd be considered for the I'm role of trophy totally wife. totally flattered because, you know, at the end of the day, you still got to beat out, like, you know, at least 100 girls for the part. So it's always pretty exciting when you, at the end of the day, you got the job and you're playing James Conn's wife. Score! Double, right? Double score. Double score. <laughs> yeah. So where can viewers find you in the future? What are you working on now? Well, you might know this. Uh, Femme Fatale is a guest starring role. I play, uh, the episode is called Trophy Wife. And I play <laughs> the trophy wife. <laughs> you can't get, it, you're, get rid and of it. And it premieres this Friday, 10 o'clock, on Cinemax. So check it out. It's going to be so much fun. It's a really good role. I'm really proud of it. And I just finished a, a lead in a really great movie called Relentless Justice. So that'll be out next year. Very nice. Well, you are the epitome of the trophy wife. I don't, are you married? Do you have I a, am not. Okay. Well, then, guys out there, <laughs> we got a trophy wife right here for you. You're gorgeous, no, and we can't wait to see more so of you. you. Thank, Thank you for you speaking much. with us.